They are the red hot MAGA mamas of the Republican Party, and they're making their moves for re-election. Not li no, 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 not lie about. You don't get to ask any more questions. I'm done with you okay. because you're the cause. You're One the cause thing, of you our the country. Democrats no, no, no. You're the cause of our Steve country being divided. You're the cause of our country being divided. You're the cause of President Trump almost being assassinated. But I am here. And I am telling you, it's an all hands on deck moment. I want every single Arizona joining in this fight with me. And in today's incredible video, there is something else very disturbing that you're about to see uh, that these two also have in common. And it's causing both of them to panic because as both Marjorie Taylor Greene and Carrie Lake seek re-election respectively in an uncertain political world, uh, this will cause uh, potential problems. Now, let's remember in the end, these two angels of autocracy work for this guy. His name is Donald. I don't know what the hell it is. It's Project 25. He's involved in Project. And then they read some of the things and they are extreme. I mean, they're seriously extreme. But I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. So what else do Carrie Lake and Marjorie Taylor Greene have in common uh, besides flying their brooms over Washington? Well, it has something to do with Donald's unabashed lying about Project 2025, as we just saw. So get ready for a stunning appearance that they both make together in a recently released video where they actually reveal their true feelings about this controversial and, might I add, very anti-American initiative. I'm not sure which will be more disturbing for Carrie Lake, the video that you're about to see, or this piece of news from NBC today. Democratic Representative Ruben Gallego was endorsed by three former Republican officials today in his bid to become Arizona's next senator. Former Scottsdale Mayor Sam Campana, former Phoenix Vice Mayor Peggy Neely, and former State Representative Robin Shaw, all threw their support behind Gallego in his race against Republican Kerry Lake, citing his stance on reproductive rights. Ruben has consistently championed the right of Arizona women to make their own health care decisions, Neely said at an event in Tempe. Carrie Lake is far too extreme and she must be stopped. And speaking of endorsement news that might well change your job search, guess who appears on a new recruitment video for jobs yet created in an evil new administration? Well, it's a little something called Project 2025 and Green and Lake are joining on this tape privileged scum-sucking folk like this dweeb former White House Director of Personnel and personal pal to Trump, John McEntee. I always keep this fake Hollywood money in my car, so when a homeless person asks for money, then I give them like a fake $5 bill, so I feel good about myself, they feel good, and then when they go to use it, they get arrested, so I'm actually like helping clean up the community. Wow, what a guy. Okay, you have to see this video. Look out for Green, Lake, as well as this cadre of ne'er-do-wells. They're all attempting to roll out Project 2025 like it's an all-hands-on-deck video at the Globochem Job Fair. And that's what makes this little CPAC set video so sinister and evil. Just have a look at how nice and normal they all appear to be, while their implied message is destroy democracy and advance your career. Hey everybody, I'm Spencer Cradian with Project 2025 here at CPAC. We're having great conversations. We're meeting people from all across the country who are interested in serving the next conservative president. I think Project 2025 is exactly what we need. I think everyone needs to look ahead two, three years out because last time it got thrust on us. He shocked the world by winning. So the transition team was rushed and we were vastly undergunned against the deep state. I saw the attempts by bureaucrats that had been there longer than I had that actually worked against the last administration. What happens usually is that the beliefs that we hold back at home somehow get lost along the way to Washington. But this is a fixable, solvable problem and we're going to do it as part of Project 2025. It is a great opportunity for us as a movement to prepare staff and policy recommendations for the next president way earlier than we have ever done before. If we want to hit the ground running, I think starting now is an excellent idea. Just get involved, get your foot in the door, get working, and like great opportunities will come to you. You're going to get attacked by the liberal media. The career bureaucrats are going to hate you. You have to have thick skin. We have to get beyond being bothered by what words they're going to call us. If you're really committed to the cause and willing to go through that, please, we'll welcome you in. We need grassroots patriots to go to project2025.org, sign up for our Presidential Administration Academy, and we will be in touch because together we are going to build the network that we need to ensure that the next conservative president is a success. 
You know, these videos like the 900 page Project 2025 publication could go down as the most colossal political blunders of holier than thou hubris the world has ever seen. Unless, of course, Trump wins. And then it will all be standard operating procedure.